very, very hard to say because when you kill something with ESD, it doesn't always happen right away. And it also might have just died from something else. It's so hard to tell. That's true. I might as well ask my tarot cards if it ever happened. I, there's Which, just no way to know. Do you care to wear an ESD strap then? <laughs> I should. I'm sitting in my hotel room right now from Vancouver at LTX. So I wanted to take this opportunity to talk about something that has been going around in the PC building sphere for a very long time, and that's electrostatic discharge. <laughs> so I took this opportunity of being in a hub of all sorts of content creators in the PC building space to ask them questions that have to do with ESD. Uh, I've had ESD for several years. Yeah. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Do they do anything to protect themselves from it? I should. Have they killed any computer components with it? That's All these people have built and have had their hands in so many different computers and computer components that they would be the perfect sample size to ask anything. But do you think you've ever killed anything with ESD? Are they worried about ESD? I don't think so. Have they killed anything with ESD? We all have stories, so let's go talk to them and find out. I had a time when I was at Newegg and I had a thing, it's like a really new expensive graphics card and I walked across the floor and the PM before the graphics card was there and he's like, ah, and he reached out and touched it. I'm like, zapped it with the fattest static shock I've ever seen. I was like, oh my gosh, you probably just killed it. Well, how many computers do you think you've built in your, uh, I guess your content creator lifetime? Two, 200, 200 probably. Have you ever worn an ESD strap? Yes. Have you actually killed any parts that you stopped wearing an ESD strap? That's true. That's true. No. <laughs> there you have it. I have carpet too, so. <laughs> and you build on carpet? Yeah, I build on carpet. Exactly. See, there we go. Do you think that you've actually killed anything with ESD? You know what? Maybe in the in the 80s when I built my first PC in the 80s. Oh, a long time. Ago, uh, yeah. Because Microsoft DOS back then, right? Oh, yeah. So we were just installing everything in just the general C colon directory. Like we didn't know anything about that. Some programs would run, some weren't. We weren't sure like what was going on. So we were kind of taking it apart, and I could have sworn I saw a little like lightning bolt come from my fingertip. And, and then since then. Since then, nothing. Nothing. Ever use the ESD strap? <laughs> My very first attempt at building computer parts, I did it all on the carpet. Took out part, multiple older computers, laid them all out on the carpet, and I'm pretty sure I killed like half of them. Okay, so... So I learned not to do carpet anymore, but I never really messed with the strap. Have you ever killed anything with ESD? On purpose, well no, accidentally, not on purpose. Very, very hard to say, because when you kill something with ESD, it doesn't always happen right away. And it also might have just died from something else. It's so, hard to tell, that's true. I might as well ask my tarot cards if it ever happened. I, there's Which, just no way to know. Do you care to wear an ESD strap then? I should. Should? I should. <laughs> okay. And you should too. Coming soon. The LTT ESD strap. LTTstore.com. <laughs> and if you're wondering what LTX is, well, that is the Linus Tech Expo. Linus from Linus Tech Tips, one of the biggest YouTube channels in the uh, YouTube space, I guess, the tech gaming PC hardware space. They invited Coalition Gaming out as one of the creators and a ton of the creators are all here. And they did so much and are treating us so well. And we begin. Oh, it's Chris and Danny and Ozzy and Brett. Hey. Thank you, Linus and team. Thank you, everybody involved with that process for treating all, all these creators that we're with, and us included, um, it make, very well and ensuring that we have a good experience through this process. The expo floor is actually super cool. They have an entire land center they're calling the Whale Land. Lots of people there, lots of cool systems. There's a second stage there where other events are being held. There's uh, things like Tech Feud and the Price is Wrong that are being held on that stage. They have the AMD sponsored Midway with like carnival style games, arcade games and things like that. There was the Banana for Scale machine, which it turns out that Banana for Scale machine is actually rather difficult. Their experience with it in testing was that, yeah, you could win a, one of their, their plushy bananas pretty easily. But I tried it, didn't win nothing. And I watched people and they couldn't win anything. The CPU Plinko, that was super cool. There are booths from all sorts of companies, including NVIDIA, Lan Lee, uh, MSI, Asus ROG. It's just 
there's so much stuff going on there that and it's so packed honestly i think that even in this vancouver convention center now that uh versus the previous ltx this one moved to the big convention center it still isn't big enough there are so many people there's so much happening and i think they could still fill a bigger convention center the opening ceremony was actually really cool. Everybody gathered cheering for that. And then the live WAN show had such a packed audience that it was mind boggling. So many people were in there. Long story short, when it comes to ESD, electrostatic discharge, um, there are a lot of best practices to follow. But outside of that, uh, if for the casual builder at home, the person doing YouTube videos in their own home, putting computers together and handling computer components, it really isn't that big of a deal. I'm here with Danny from Nerd on a Budget, the Nerd on a Budget himself. Uh, have you ever killed anything from ESD that you're aware of? Uh, no. No, no, I even lived in like a dry climate where I would shock my door handles every time I would touch it. Uh, no. Uh, yeah, I have, I have fried very expensive laptops. Have you ever been worried about ESD? Uh, maybe not as much as I maybe should. Have you ever actually killed anything via ESD? Actually, yes. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> What'd you kill? Yeah, a motherboard. <laughs> Ever worried about ESD? Oh, not anymore, <laughs> no. Nowadays, no. Not, not a problem. No, we, we like living on the edge constantly. The chances of that are really slim. And there you have it, my friends. Almost, I almost exclusively build on carpet. Uh, and I don't use grounding shafts or anything like that, and I've never had an issue. I have had, you know, the little pop when you ground yourself, but even when the computer is on, never had a problem. Have you ever used an ESD strap? I have never. I have never used an ESD strap. Look ever. at that. And how many computers do you think, or parts, do you think you've killed from ESD? Uh, I know one. I killed one motherboard one time. But you have to consider, I've had my hands in, I'm not exaggerating this in the least, tens of thousands of PCs. I managed a help desk for the better part of 12 or 13 years. Never killed a stick of RAM, a hard drive, anything. I know I killed one motherboard, that's it. However, best practices dictate touch things that are bare metal to ground yourselves, do, do a few other things. It's always best to protect yourself if you're worried about it. But as you guys saw in the grand scheme of things, the statistic, the, the, the statistical chance that you may actually kill something from ESD is damn near zero. You may be worried about it, but it's not worried about you. I should. <laughs> okay. And you should too. Coming soon, the LTT ESD strap, LTTstore.com. <laughs> With all that being said, thank you to all the creators that answered my questions. Thank you, Linus and team, again, for putting us up and treating us so kindly. And thank you all for watching this video. We've got more to come, so make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you like this video, you know what to do. Also, I stream to Twitch every Friday at 8 p.m. Pacific at twitch.tv slash Coalition Chris, so make sure you catch us. There's definitely uh, more LTX stuff that I'd like to talk about that I can't necessarily package into a video. So if you want to come ask questions about LTX and the experience out here in Vancouver, stop by the stream.